where's my Five Nights at Freddy's fans at? Where y'all at? Where y'all at? So Five Nights at Freddy is dropping a movie this week. And I was like, you know what? I had to do a look. I had to do a look. I actually never played the game. I've always been interested in the Five Nights at Freddy's story. And, you know, animatronics kind of creep me out, but they're low-key cool. But I did Circus Baby from Five Nights at Freddy, and I absolutely love this look. It was such a fun look to create, and definitely a really cool look to do this weekend if you're attending any Halloween party. So, before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And follow me on all my social media platforms at It's Safe Baby. And let's get into this tutorial. First, you gotta block your brows like a boss. I already did a video on this, and I'll just link it in the description box below so y'all can check it out but anyways it's time to get your face paint out and i love using my favorite maron cream blend stick and i'm using it in white i'm just putting it all over my face since i am a deeper complexion and it's very hard for these lighter colors and white to cover my face i have to put a lot of product on my face and use a stiff brush and a stiffling motion to really pack on this color and keep the pigment if i were to smear it around and stuff like that it's definitely going to shear out the color and we don't want that so it's best to tap 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 to keep maximum pigment so i'm setting my face with some translucent powder from anastasia beverly hills and i'm using a powder puff i'm going to be beating my face to really really set this cream product we don't want it smearing anywhere because i'm going to be painting on top of it so you want to really press that powder in today i'm going to be using makeup and murder's lost signal palette which is a beautiful grayscale palette to contour and highlight my face and i'm also using their poison pigment in white so first i'm going to take the pigment in white i'm going to press it all over my face just to get more pigmentation of the white because obviously i am darker skin tone so it's hard to get that like smooth white color and then i'm going to be going in with the gray and i'm going to be using the gray to contour my face and to add some dimensions Today, I'm going to be using Graffiti Glam Palette from Lashing Out Glam. It's a beautiful, like, water-activated paint. As you can see, I love using it a lot. And I'm going to be using it to create my thin, skinny brows. If you made any mistakes, just take some of your white paint and clean up around your brow to make it nice and sharp. I am using a white base eyeshadow primer. Try to use a white base one and not one of those cream color ones because it's going to not look good with the eyeshadow and it's going to look really weird. Then I'm going to be using the Hell Bites Beauty Cyber Goth Palette and I'm going to be using the blue shades in that palette. So first I'm going to sketch a circle around my eyes. And as you can see, I didn't apply any like product under my eyes because if I do, I know it's going to crease really, really quickly. So I want to do that step last. So right now you're just going to sketch out a circle and you're also going to bring the circle under your eyes as well too to create really big eyes like Circus Baby. After you created your circle, you want to start blending out that harsh, harsh line. And you want to take your time and blend in small circular motions and also be very careful when you're blending it on your eyelid because it's really close to where you glued your brows and you don't want to disturb the product under there. Just to be clear, I'm not using a white paint to cut my crease, I am using a white eyeshadow primer. So right now I'm just cutting the crease and I'm cutting really big and exaggerated because I want my eyes to look big like Circus Baby. And I'm also going to cut the bottom of my eye, like where the circle is, I'm going to clean it up to make it nice and sharp. Sorry I didn't show that part because I was out of frame, but as you can see that I did the cut under the eyes now i'm going to take some light blue shadow and apply it onto the lid for some odd reason the eyeshadow was giving me problems i don't know why but other i was perfectly fine i just feel like it's a me problem not a palette problem so after that i'm going to take black shadow and i'm going to outline around the circle that i created on my eyes and this is going to create more depth to make it look hollow and big like circus baby and then once i create that line i'm going to start blending the black up and out into the blue to create a nicer blend to make it look more realistic and then I'm just going back in with the blue again just to blend on top of the black because I feel like it was a little harsh and just wanted more of a better blend. So when it comes to blending, you really want to take your time with this to get a nice blend. Now it's time to create the false lashes. So I'm just taking some of the blue, the same blue that I use for my brows, and I'm just creating cute little eyelash flicks. And you want the flicks to have a bit of a curve. So Circus Baby has some thick blue lashes, so I'm just thickening certain lashes. You can see them far away, and then I'm just keeping some nice and skinny. So I'm going in with Glow Cane Highlighter from Crayon Case, and I'm applying this on the center of my eye to give the illusion of a big, rounder eye. So now it's time to line my waterline and i'm using green because circus baby has green eyes and i do not have green contacts and i actually hate wearing green contacts but doing this method it gives the appearance of green eyes and i'm just putting this on my waterline and i'm also dragging a little bit lower to give the appearance of big green eyes now it's time to add the details on circus baby's face so i'm just taking a gray eyeshadow and i'm just creating small thin lines on my face where i actually want to draw the lines on the face i'm not trying to wing it y'all using black is unforgivable so please sketch it out 
And then once I feel like I was satisfied with the shape, I went in with the black liner from Lashing Out Glam's palette. And I'm just tracing over the lines. And you wanna make sure you take your time with it and you wanna make it nice and thick and try to mimic it as much as possible like Circus Baby. I did mess up a little bit and a little bit off, but at least I got the gist of her lines. So I'm happy and I did this makeup at three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, I was tired. Now it's time to create shadow and depth to your character. So Circus Baby has these lines on her face, but her lines are not flat. They're actually like pieces put together to make her face. So you have to create that illusion that these are pieces that are created to make up your face. So you have to create the shadow effect. So I went in with a gray eyeshadow and I'm just tracing around the black lines, leaving a little white sliver. So that way it creates um, an effect that is a shadow, like it's being like bent, if that makes sense. I, I hope I'm explaining this, but you want to create a highlighted point because it creates that effect that it's like bent or does like a rim around it. So you want to take your time. So I'm just tracing it with a gray and then we'll go back in with a slightly darker gray and I'm going to emphasize the line a little bit more to make it look more realistic. And then I'm actually going to go in with some white shadow and place it between the white little pieces between the black and the gray just to create a highlighted effect. Using the water activated paint from Lash Young Glam, I'm just creating the nose for Circus Baby. So I'm just creating a round nose on her nose. On her nose. <laughs> on my nose. Oh my god. And then I'm going to use the same red. I'm going to create the circles on her cheeks. And I try to make as symmetrical as possible, y'all. It is so hard to draw circles freehand. Next, I am lining my lips with Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in full red. And I'm looking on camera. I'm like, this is pink. This is giving me magenta pink. And it is usually red on me. So I don't know if because of the paint. And I just don't know why. It looks real red. So it threw me off. But I went on top of it with Juvia's Place Matte Lipstick in Rouge. And I applied it all, all over my lips. And then I went in with the liner again. The Water Activate Liner. And just went over the lines to attach it to the circles. That way it has a better blend. And it wasn't that weird pink color. For lashes, I'll be using Eldora False Lashes in Style. B802 Gold Lashes. I love them because it's the big long lashes. But they have like little gold pieces in it. And I thought it would be a really cool element to add to my look. So now it's time to style my bright orange hair and turn myself into circus baby this is the final look i teased my hair because i thought it was such a vibe and then i put on a full white bodysuit got gloves and i drawn on the little like lines on the gloves got myself an ice cream cone if you know you know um it's a bag from bessie johnson and then i got a cute little red tutu i'll show the look at the end of the video or you can check my instagram if you want to see how it looks like but yeah i love this look this look turned out amazing like i low-key looked at myself in the mirror and i'm like this is kind of creepy i'm not gonna lie my makeup does look a little bit worn torn because i was filming a lot of content before filming this last i don't know why i filmed this last and then did a whole bunch of content moving around and sweating but anyways this is my circus baby look i can't wait to watch five nights of freddy let me know if you guys are a big fan let me know if you're gonna try out this look anyways guys happy halloween i'll see you guys again in another video bye